Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your oracle reading for this week. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Cancer. Thank you Lord God for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Cancer, it looks like um, what rests between you and your person is... Um, within the next few months so the what you're inquiring about what you're asking about um if it's an event whatever it may be it could be happening within the next few months for you but not without compromise you both need to come to some conclusion agreement um that serves the both of you that where everyone wins a win-win here also, this talks about stubbornness. Someone is too stubborn, you're too stubborn, the other person's stubborn, I don't know. But there needs to be compromise. Um, give a little, take a little, take a little, give a little. Um, and that's how you guys need to um, meet any obstacle in the way of the relationship. Someone was also a little too compromising in this relationship. They gave too much, maybe too soon. Or they gave too much and then they withdrew. But we'll talk about that. Um, if somebody somebody wants the other person um, to stop, <laughs> but it looks like somebody is not stopping. And um, I don't know, it's almost as if they're being prompted by spirit to not stop. Uh, maybe they don't see the vision, you see it. This could also be in your career and finance, in other areas of your life. Um, don't stop whatever you're doing. Just because people don't see your vision, they don't know what you're doing, it doesn't mean as if it is not working for you, um, that it's working against you. It's just that they don't see what you see. They can't envision what you envision, okay? So don't stop whatever it is you're working on. Um, it looks like cancer. How you feel about um, maybe this connection overall is friendship, okay? Um, you just want a friendship. You just want to be friends. Um, and for some of you, on the adverse of that, um, you miss the friendship. You feel like something was stolen from you. And more more importantly than the love and then the sex and then the being together and it's being, you know, the, being your lover, you miss the friendship. Okay? And then for some of you, you just want to be friends. Um, but it seems as if there's a courting man. There's someone who wants to date you exclusively. Um, there's someone who wants to put time, energy, effort, the investment in with you or this is you cancer this is this is how you view your person you want to court them you want to date them you want them to know that i'm putting my time my energy my investment in you please return reciprocate or at least appreciate and then for some of you you don't want this you just want friendship um how your person feels cancer they could be hanging on to your every word all communication how your person feels as um, they also could feel as if maybe your communication is lacking. Um, there is a bit of immaturity uh, in, in your approach and how you approach them. Uh, you need to grow up. You could be youthful. You could be younger than them. Or you could just have this very youthful vibe that comes off as immature. They could be looking for more. Um, communication is key. In your relationship, something could have been found out, spoken of, um, via some type of written communication, text message, email, um, all modes of communication here. Someone could have gone through the other person's phone or is it attempting to do that. I'm mean, hearing like somebody will show up at the other person's house. And then text them, like, come outside. You know, I don't know. It's almost like an immature flair or vibe to it. And you guys may be a lot older than texting me to come outside. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just getting that. Um, so anyway, communication may be lacking here. Um, your person feels like you're a youthful male. You're into sports and, you know, being dynamic and being seen. You may even have a sports car or a fast car. But it gets you a lot of attention. Um, you're around the town, about the town. Um, maybe you have a lot of prestige. You have a big reputation. Um, your person feels like there's still a, 
a larger sense or part of you that is immature, that needs growth, okay? And that could be emotionally. Um, you need to physically grow up. I don't know, you know, but the person feels, this is what your person feels, um, cancer. I don't know. It is. Or, and it could be vice versa. So, get in where you fit in, guys. Cancer, how you feel is, um, and I think some of these messages here are a little vice versa. You feel like thief, okay? For some of you, you feel like this person stole something from you by leaving you. They took the friendship. They took the love. They took something from you. Um, so this person could have all of a sudden left, or they could have left secretly. They kept it a secret that they were going to do this thing, or that they were going to leave you, or that you know it was over or this is how you approach the relationship you approach this person in secret um just to steal away some of you stole away in the night someone feels as if you have, they have lost something okay with the absence uh, of you um they've lost the friendship dynamic of course the love um just your energy so they they feel as if you're this is how you feel cancer you feel as if this person is a thief or vice versa, okay? The person feels this way about you. Um, also, you feel as if your person is a cheater, liar. Um, they presented themselves in one way, but they were really a whole nother way. They, they did not intend to do what it is they said they would do. They were stealing your time, your energy, your essence. Um, definitely your time. And you feel like they're a thief because... Um, they were dishonest in their approach. What is honestly earned is honestly yours or genuinely yours, okay? Um, so this is like lying to somebody about, I'm not married, I'm not married, and then a year down the line, someone finds out you're married. Well, a year down the line, my feelings are involved. We've had sex. I love you now. I don't know. You, you gained all of that, my trust, my love, my devotion, dishonestly. You were deceptive. You were a thief. So this is how somebody, this is how you feel, Cancer. Or this is how another person feels about you, okay? Um, cancer, you could be saying, please give me another try, all right? If someone stole away from you, you feel like, I want another try. Please give me another try. Or it could be the adverse, Cancer. You could be feeling like this person is begging you for another try. And all you really want is friendship at this point, okay? Um... This person, um, Cancer, the card that resonates with you most is the Five of Diamond. The Five of Diamond in the playing card deck means um, a successful home business, okay? So you're having success in home and business, okay? Um, now, you could be having that now, um, or with the Five, it talks about change, a shift, okay? And for some, well, the five is a temporary energy. So um, maybe there's a, a change, a shift in that successful home and business. Um, maybe with this loss or this theft, um, someone is now having a shift in their energy. They're not having success in their home and in their business, okay? Um, this is you, Cancer, is the other person. Cancer, how you're, 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 the other person is coming up or showing up here is uh, the Ten of Cups, okay, or the Ten of Hearts. All right, so the highest level of happiness. Your person is soaring high, or this is you, Cancer. I don't know. I don't know. Um, somebody's happy. Um, someone's having a, a makeover, a redo. Um, they, how they are identifying to the world is different. Their self-identity, I don't know. They're just really happy, okay? And they could be happy without you. Um, they could feel as if you, or they could be saying this to you, I cheated in the past, but I'm faithful of yours, which really doesn't make any sense. They could really be feeling like this is what you're saying to them, that you cheated in the past, but now you're um, faithfully theirs. But at the same time, it feels as if this person is over it. It's a no-go there's a lock on the box. Once you're in the coffin, you're in the coffin. No one is coming to get you out. It's over. You're done. You're dead. It's dead. This is how somebody feels. It's over. It's done. It's a done deal. The nail is in the coffin. I don't care if you are faithfully mine now. It's over. 
But keep in mind that the cards are telling somebody in here, don't stop. Don't stop. Um, because, I don't know, maybe you're going to wear this person down. They're going to compromise with you. They're going to see things your way. Or vice versa. This is how this person feels with you, Cancer. Within the next few months, they feel like um, they could get you to compromise your position. Or what you're feeling. Or this is how you feel about them. Um, the least... The person that you least expect to impress you, could impress you, could give you a gift. Something that could be absolutely magical. And this is how this person feels about you. A true gem. They also could be proposing to you engagement here. Um, because somebody is um, addicted to you. I mean, they're addicted to this energy. They're just addicted, okay? They can't let go. And it looks like they're not stopping. Um, they want your forgiveness. Okay, they say forgive me. This is what you're saying, Cancer, or you're, or they're saying this to you. They're also saying wait for me. There's somebody here who has to finish up something or wrap up something. They have to go on a new path, a new journey. They have to close something out here. They have to really sever ties with an old way of uh, being existing. Um, your person is having a hard time, or you're having a hard time with coping with the fact that this is over. It's done. It's a done deal. All right. Um, the person could have kept you as the number two woman. There's a number one woman here also. Some of you, your person could be married, couple. This is what they have to do to get out of this. Your person could be thinking about marrying you. But they're also a little frightened with commitment. Jumping from one commitment to the, to the next. So Cancer, these are the messages that I have for you this week. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, go over to the website. Book your own oracle reading. Just like this one. They're on sale. Um, go to the website. Uh, I will link the uh, yeah. I'll link the oracle reading below. Get your own oracle reading just for your own energy or any reading at the website level. You can also text a question to the number below. If you have a question, you can uh, paper your question, receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. You could donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. If you took something from the reading, you can always give back. All right. Thank you, Cancer. Many blessings to you. Take care.